Onwards to Lemniscate then. What have we got here? Iris is here, right? I am so aggro right now. Why is that? Who says that? Why are you angry? You backed out on your shovel forge promise. Uh, cope. I didn't make any promises. Also, yeah, I remember I agreed to a date, which is fucking weird, but I don't remember specifying shovel forge. You promised me a date, though. I did go to your house. Two minutes before midnight, and you didn't even take me anywhere. Yeah, because we only had two minutes. <laughs> we could have gone somewhere. Iturup, Kuneshir, Shikotan, Habamai? Absolutely not. Then you should have come earlier. Well, uh... Uh, well, that's a bit heavy to go in with up the top first. Uh, have the day off? Off? Yeah, from school. Oh, yeah, it's a holiday. So I decided to come to Lemnisgate. We're going to do a recording for a show soon. Okay, uh, why was your phone off? I know you were mad about our date, but why was your phone off? I couldn't get a hold of you. Um, um about the late night visitor? Last night around 2 a.m., someone visited you. Who was it? And you left the house as well. Where did you go? You really want to know? Yeah. Yes. And you'd do anything for the answer. Oh, for fuck's sake, Iris. Here yes. we go. All right, then. Shovel Forge. No. Then go on a date with me. Again, no. But you owe me for yesterday. I told you I couldn't get a hold of you. Objection. Even if you did get a hold of me, you didn't want to see me anyway, right? Until you fulfill your promise, I won't tell you anything. For fuck's sake, Iris, this is a criminal investigation! <sighs> Where's Renju? What about him? I don't need to hide it. I told her about Renju's disappearance. A traffic accident? I'm worried. Any idea where he could have gone? I'm sorry, no. Do you know So Sejima? I've seen him on TV. Ever met him? No. Not at all. No, not at all. I saw your body. Iris, promise you won't laugh, but I saw something at the cold storage warehouse last night. What? Your dead body. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to laugh. But, come on, Date. I'm alive. I'm right here. Are you sure? Look, I can jump around. Woohoo! Stop, I'm serious. What was she just doing? In my dream, I saved you from being killed. And here you are. Which is why I was like that when I went to your house yesterday. Sorry, there's no point in telling you all this. No, it's fine. Sorry for laughing. I just didn't know what was up with you. Huh? I believe you, Date. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. Uh, Another bizarre explanation. Branching timeline. Hmm. So, what are we doing? What do you mean? For our date, of course. Huh. This is an actual choice? Is this going to be a branching timeline? We've never had a timeline branch outside of a Somnium before, right? But I feel like this could be a branch. Huh. In which case, we have to do both. So which one are we going to do first? I guess we'll get that info out of her if we go on the date. So go... Fine. Hey, wait a minute. Yay! So you'll play Shovel Forge with me? I will not. 
<laughs> so we'll go on a date then. <sighs> yes. Deal. And you have to honor our agreement this time. I can't believe it. Oh, but we can't go right away. I have a recording coming up. I should be done by three, though. I... Tessa, we're starting soon. Got it! Got it! So, Date, meet me back here at three? If you ditch me, I will be beyond furious. I have a worrying feeling that she's going to be dead by three or something. Anyway, bye for now. Peace. Peace. I have a worrying feeling that she could be dead by three. Iris smiled and strolled over to the studio. There is no point remaining here. Let's get moving. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Off to the cold storage. Do, 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 do. With Iber in my left eye socket, I walked into the cold storage warehouse. I could see my breath. I looked around, shivering. Nothing seemed changed from last night. A switchboard. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. You first arrived here yesterday at 9 p.m. At that time, lying on this workbench was... Iris's dead body, covered with a white cloth. But the second time... The corpse was gone. It was 11.25 p.m., but the body could not have simply vanished. Because there wasn't a body. The crime scene investigation was here before 11.25 p.m. When did they arrive? According to the report, 10.30 p.m., after we finished sinking with So. It took them an hour and a half to get here? Correct. Why did it take them so long? Unknown. The report does not specify. That is actually a good point, Perhaps huh? a result of outside influence. Outside influence? In any case, there is nothing of note about the bench. Examining it will not reveal any further information. Aight. Uh, a forklift. forklift. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Other forklift. forklift. It doesn't seem like it's in use. It was likely just left here. The crane on the ceiling. Nothing has changed. There are only a few items on the shelf. It is likely that this warehouse isn't in regular use. It's a wooden box. There is nothing inside. Cardboard box, nothing in it. Okay, what is there? There are numerous cardboard boxes on the shelves. There is nothing abnormal about them. What is there left to click? That machine is used to cut ice. Do they store ice here? Uh. What is there left to click? <laughs> Am I blind? Nothing. But finding nothing may, in fact, be something. What do you mean? I was just thinking out loud. Let's get going. Date, your temperature is dropping. No shit, in cold storage? I'm shocked. At this rate, they might find your body in here. Where are we off to now? Back to Abyss, okay. Police HQ. I returned to Abyss with Iber. I needed to talk to the boss. As I entered the room, the boss smiled like she was waiting for me. I took care of what you asked for. Number 89? He's here, in the interrogation room. I'm on it. You'll go without me this time. I have some errands to run. One of the higher ups needs me. I'll have Pewter go to the interrogation with you. Understood. I... Well, this is going to end with us sinking with him, I would guess. Sup, bruh? Bruh. Bruh. What a fucking nasty, dank interrogation room. Bruh. Bruh.
Let's get started. Let's get down to business. How many people have you killed? I don't know. It's not like I'm counting. Where are you from? Djibouti. Northeast Africa. A small republic of roughly 900,000. Djibouti. Ha, <laughs> he said booty. I don't take kindly to stupid lies. Name? Number 89. Your real name. I don't know, I forgot. Why did you call Sojima's secretary? Oh, you know about that. It's true. I called Sejima's secretary. I got him on the line and I told him something very important. Interesting, because So said you didn't talk to him. You spoke with him directly? Yeah. What did you tell him? I told him to call somebody. Shoko? Yeah, it's going to be Shoko. Okay. Interesting. Because we know Shoko had something to do with him because she went to visit him, right? Am I remembering that right? Didn't Shoko go and visit him in prison? Didn't we find that out in a different timeline? Somebody. I can't tell you anymore. <sighs> About Shoko's murder. Right. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Two days ago, you called our investigation office. You said you know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? Yes, I promise. <laughs> You're lying. You don't want to release me. I mean, if it leads to the capture of another murderer. That's fine. I was expecting this anyway. I just wanted a good excuse to leave the prison. What do you mean? You really want to know? Here's what I mean! Uh-oh. Rude. Pewter, do you want to maybe not just fucking stand there? Pewter? Oh, great. You'll make great. a good hostage for me. Brilliant. Excellent. Take fucking great work. Exit. Now. Pewter literally just stood there whilst he got up, assaulted me, took my gun, and that's when Pewter couldn't do anything. But there was a solid, like, ten seconds there where Pewter just watched me get assaulted and didn't attempt to help? What a fucking tool! Oh, darn. Oh, darn. Fucking shit, bitch. Are you kidding me? A criminal serving a life sentence just escaped from Metro Police. I ordered everyone to keep quiet about this, but it's only a matter of time before the press sniffs this out. He's gonna go straight to Hitomi. We need to get number 89 back before then. You dumb motherfucker, Pewter. He punched out an officer and stole his clothes. He put on the uniform and brought me with him at gunpoint. Well, he had the gun in his pocket, uh, hiding it. No one on the floor even knew this was happening. Imagine if you hadn't let him get the gun, Pewter. He got on the elevator and made it to the ground floor. He even stole my security card. He said he'd kill me if I tried anything. I suppose the whole escape took him about uh, five minutes. He must have planned this. You're rather calm about all this. I'm coming down from being terrified for my life. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a fugue state right now. Actually unbelievable. Where's my gun? Number 89 still has it. Why is it showing that gun? That's not my gun. <laughs> Where's my gun? And then it shows some random pistol? But don't worry. I have a spare. I'll give it to you later. How fortunate. Where's 89? How would I know? After he got to the exit, he let me go. I didn't see where he went. I collapsed right there. Pewter is standing calmly. Pewter, you are the worst, mate. Whoopsie, wrong button. Uh, apologize or don't apologize? I'll apologize. Boss, it's my fault he got away. 
I mean, it's kind of putus, but sure. I'm sorry. Don't waste time apologizing. Go catch him. I'm the one who has to go on an apology tour now. <sighs> really messed up this time. Yeah, that's why I'm apologizing. Date, I know you are already aware of this, but there are security cameras all over this compound. I checked all of them. Number 89 fled in a car that was waiting for him. What? It was waiting for him? So he had an accomplice. How could he have possibly planned to escape from that situation? He had no idea where he would be taken, how many people would be watching him, if there would be any way out, if he would be able to get a gun, if he'd be able to take a hostage. Like, there was literally zero of that that he could have planned aside from getting in there in the first place. He had no idea of the layout of the building, like anything. How could he fucking possibly have planned to escape? How is that not just a fortuitous circumstance? Yes. Did you see who was driving? I did. Who was it? You and I know him well. Oh? Rancho. Oh? I told Boss and Pewter what Iba revealed to me. Huh. Rancho? Why? Okay, that's interesting. Date, Moma is calling. Moma? From the Kumakuras? I'll connect him. Hey, Date. Hey. I just got the word. Renju's been seen. What? Where? Hey, don't forget our deal. Deal? Yeah, he wants to see Iris. What deal? You forgot already? I'm talking about Tessa. Oh, right. I'll be waiting. You know what to do. What should we do? We have no choice. We have to take her. To MoMA? Yes. Okay, back to Lemniscate. Oh my gosh! Late, 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 late. You're late. I'm going home. <laughs> Never! Have you forgotten the vows you exchanged? Vows? Are you talking about drunk? that? No, of course not. You're drunk. I kid, 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 kid. I'm kidding. I can't believe I'm gonna shovel forge with you. I'm getting excited. I have bad news. We are not shovel forging. I was talking about the date, silly. Shovel forge and a date are synonymous, apparently. So where are we going? Uh, to the mob. <laughs> Where should I take her? A really nice place to where the dragon is, a gangster bar to a Yakuza office building. Uh, a really nice place. A really nice place. Huh? A nice place? I wonder where. I'm excited! <laughs> oh, she didn't completely understand, but I didn't have time to care. <laughs> I took Iris to the Kumakuras. Nicest place you'll ever see, I, I, pr I promise. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, where are we? An office, as you can see. One belonging to the Kumakura gang. I see. A gang. I see. Hmm. <laughs> this isn't nice at all. <laughs> this is more like mice. Like rats. Oh, Tessa, come on now. I'm no rat. I'm a friend. Real suspicious for a friend. Don't look at me like that, Tessa. That's no good. <laughs> Mama, I held up my end of the deal. You sure did. You want to hear about Renju? Mr. Okira? Uh, I do. Let's hear from Iris first. What happened to Mr. Okira? I heard he escaped the hospital. So did I. But I don't know anything more than that. Please tell me. Renji's escape from the hospital was strange. Three things stuck out to me. I laid out the facts. Mizuki was lured to the place where Shoko's body was found by a message sent from Renji's phone. I found Iris's body in the cold storage warehouse. Earlier today, Renji fled with a prisoner, escaping a life sentence, an assassin named 89. Hold up. 
What were you saying about Tessa's dead body? Oh, well... Date saw a parallel world with my dead body in it! A parallel world? Never heard of it? Oh, yeah, of course I have. Yeah, yeah, right. Parallel worlds and all that shit. Yeah. I yeah. don't understand it, but I suppose he does. Good, because I don't feel like explaining it. But why would Mr. Okira do that? I don't know. He could be a hostage or an accomplice. Hmm. Either way, I need to find him. Introduce Moma. Oh yeah, I haven't introduced this old man yet. <laughs> I'm 24. Mother really? I thought he was older than that. He is at least 48. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I just realised why he'd be lying. Oh. Absolutely. Sorry for not introducing myself. My name is Moma Kumakura. I work for a prestigious advertising agency. Hmm. You run the Kumakura gang, right? You're like a mob boss. Uh, how did you know that? Is he stupid? Yes. Moma may not look it, but he's a huge ASAP fan. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm a huge fan. Gambling. Bet, debt, ASAP! Worries. Uh, forget, fret, ASAP! Now what does she say? ASAP, you bet! Wow, my catchphrase! Thank you! <laughs> this, this is kind of embarrassing. Yeah. Here it is. But sorry, Moma. I don't like gangsters. Owned! <gasps> Fatality! Brutality! I don't like gangsters either. Gangsters are awful. All those nasty Yakuza guys should drop dead, am I right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry for bringing you here. It's okay. You don't have to be scared, Tessa. We're not thugs. We're just a gang. About as contradictory as meatless beef. The old boss was really violent. He would take a cheese grater to someone's leg if they looked at him funny. But after I took over, we went crystal clean. Crystal? Yeah, I'm sure. Methamphetamines. No, we don't do drugs. <laughs> we don't deal with that stuff. We had to restructure the whole operation. Cut a lot of people off. Cut? Their throats. No, not like that. <laughs> Iris is standing there. Okay. Uh, where are your goons? They're out, looking for Renju. Besides, I can't have them here seeing me like this. Good point. That's an expensive looking ring. Why do you care? Can I have it? What? Can I have the ring? Why would I give it to you? Hey, can I have the ring? Absolutely, of course you can. <laughs> here, take it. Wait, 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 no. I, I can't give you this. You're so cheap. <laughs> Come on, it's not like you're losing it. It's exactly like I'm losing it. <laughs> Aww. You guys are a good team. Like siblings. <sighs> huh. Holy shit. What if we are siblings? Huh. What if So, because So said he's my dad. What if So is Iris' dad as well? Because we don't know who Iris' dad is. I thought maybe Renju. But we did see... Whose Somnium was it? Was it Iris' Somnium? That we saw So Sejima, like, in bed with someone or something? But, like, that person was blued out? What if that someone was Iris' mum and it was in it... I, I can't remember if it was Iris' Somnium or not, but if it was, then that would be like she walked in on them getting it on as a kid or whatever. Like, kids stumble into their parents' rooms sometimes, you know. What if so is Iris' dad and I am... So is also my dad and we are actually siblings. 
I wouldn't have thought of that if he hadn't said that, but I feel like that's a, like, a cheeky bait. Like, haha, it's like your siblings or something. And it's like, yeah, we're siblings. I bet, I bet. That's my new theory. That's my new theory. About the Renju tip. You said on the phone that you saw Renju. Yeah, I had all my people looking for him. So, tell me where he is. Hmm, I could... Motherfucker, I've held up my end. Hey, I held up my end. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> I brought Iris like you asked. Dante, come here. Momo took me to the corner of the room. Dante, I don't quite know how to ask this, but... Can you ask Tessa if I can shake her hand, please? Oh my god, my dude, just ask yourself. She's right there. Oh, that's it? Sure. Momo and I broke our huddle. Iris, could you do me a favor? A favor? He, uh, he wants to see your boobs. What? Date, why? Why would you do this? What the fuck, dude? I didn't say that. Oh, sorry. What I meant was, he wants to shake your hand. Oh, a handshake. Sure. I would never show my boobs. Iris took Momo's hand gently and shook it. Dante, this is the happiest day of my life. It feels good to be the boss. So how about it? All right, here it goes. Renju was seen in two places. First, Sunfish Pocket, the maid cafe. Second, Ikume Shrine. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. Got it, thanks. No problem, bro, really. Okay, uh, does Iris have anything else to say now? Uh, I guess it's probably the same summary, right? Anyway, Moma, take care of Iris for me. What? What? Wait! You're leaving me here? Yeah, no, let that's a fucking horrible idea, Date. You'll be safe with him. <laughs> that is the worst idea you've ever had. Are you serious? Look at his face! Let's leave the child with the fucking creepy mob boss adult who is very into her. Hmm, how about no? Not to mention he runs a crime syndicate. What if he sells me to the highest bidder? Tessa, I would never do that. I told you, we're clean now. We all go home on time. We follow government regulations. See ya. Wait! What about Shovel Forge? I told you I never promised to play with you. But you promised me a date. D Dante, is this true? You son of a bitch. Uh, I'm gonna ignore that. Good idea. Dante, you're gonna look for Mr. Okiura, right? Take me with you. If you do, I'll tell you about last night. Her late night visitor. Fine. Yay! Dante, don't ignore me! A clean oh, I'm day. ignoring you. Oh, that's just a toy. Yeah. Oh, just a toy. <laughs> Pass it over then. <laughs> let's leave them alone for a while. No, let's Here's not. Two places to check: Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. I want to go to the warehouse too, where you found my dead body. Something bothering you? No, I'm just curious. Oh, and one more thing: Can we eat somewhere? Food sounds good. I haven't eaten in a while. Oh, my chest hurts. Getting hard to breathe. Hi. Uh. Let's check out some fish pocket. This is where we found Renju's body originally, right? Oh God, is Ota gonna be here? Maybe it's maybe it's too late. Maybe it's closed. I saw a familiar face as I entered. It was Mizuki. Iris and I sat at Mizuki's table. Fuck yeah, the two best girls. Wow, this is surprising. I fucking love Mizuki, man. I actually I don't know who I love more, Iris or Mizuki. 
I really like both of them. What's going on here? Why are you two together? Oh, well, it's... Forget it. Thanks for letting me stay last night. Oh, no trouble at all. Anytime. You can even live with me if you want. Thanks for letting me stay last night? <laughs> That's a great idea. The roommate I have right now really sucks. <sighs> this girl. Did, wait, what? What? When was she at Iris' last night? Was she the one that was at the door? I thought. I thought her mum picked her up and brought her straight here. Am I misremembering? Did her mum pick her up and take her to hers and then bring us here later? About Renji. Mr. Okira helped me when I was just starting out. You know how my mom is single? He really supported her. He even changed my diaper when I was a little baby. I got hired by Lemniscate all because of him. Iris used to stream all her own content. Like singing and dancing and gaming and stuff. But before we knew it, she went viral. Right, I heard about that. That's how she started getting offers, right? But because Iris's mom knows Renju, she decided to go with Lemniscate. But there's more to it than that. There are other reasons. Daddy was totally taken in by her talent. Her talent? Dancing, really. Her dancing is what got her into Lemniscate. He knew ever since she was young that she would be talented. He didn't want any other agencies to have her. I didn't know that. Daddy's not the type to give compliments. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. I didn't know he thought of me that way. You like dancing, right? More than sleeping and eating? Well, maybe about the same as eating. Anyway, I've always loved moving my body, ever since I was a little girl. And you're fat, too. Yeah, I did a lot of track meets. Were you always the anchor? That's amazing. Hey, want to hear something cool? Iris is the goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology. She's the messenger of the gods. She's really fast. Rainbows being so fast to disappear was the source of the legend. You're as fast as your namesake, then. You want to race? <laughs> sure. Let me get the chance. Okay. Uh, could you show me your dance? Right here? Oh, I want to see too. Me too. I would also like to see that. Mm, I don't know. Come on, just show us. But all right, I'll go set up. <laughs> Wait. A moment of silence for Iris. The mermaid didn't listen and hurried off. Jeez. Fine, if you insist. Yay! Alright, world, get ready! See my dance! Invincible Rainbow Arrow! Hit it! That are flying on maps, mystifying. You'll think that I'm lying. This old tale of mine, a journey through time. A permanent fire, cold frost on the pyre. Fruit never expires. You've seen in your eyes, you've seen in your mind. While the old bow their heads, while the blind meet the blind, the marble loses shine. The eye clouds by design, but we know.
Incredible. <laughs> I was not expecting an actual dance, singing and dancing number. That was great. <laughs> that song. Mr. Okira wrote the music, and I wrote the lyrics. Oh, that's nice. So it holds a special place in my heart. That's right. I forgot he wrote music. Yeah, he's really talented. I look up to him. He's done so much for me. I know I can rely on him more than anyone else. Cool. Do you know the mermaid? She's my friend from back when I worked here. We would hang out outside of work too. We'd go to haunted places and UFO sightings and stuff. Blow those boys away! Blow those boys away! Okay, let's not repeat that uh, interesting phrasing. <laughs> yeah, blow those boys! Oh, oh, oh god, okay. Mizuki, uh... You really shouldn't say that. About your visitor last night. Iris, I still need to know. What were you doing Sunday at 2 a.m.? You haven't fulfilled your promise. This is the date. I fulfilled my promise. I told you. No info until the date is complete. Fuck's sake, Don't man. Don't you get it? This date isn't over yet. All right, I'm going to stand up and leave. So it's over. <laughs> Iris is sitting there. Uh, about the warehouse. Why are you asking me about that? I was just curious. That company was made by my grandpa. Wait, I've just realized she has like the top tier trident. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's like the highest level trident, right? <laughs> but daddy has nothing to do with it. How, how have you spent so much money here? I don't know anything about the warehouse. I thought I told you this already. Don't ask me the same questions over and over. Date, look. Uh oh, you lying to me? She's lying? Possibly. She may just be excited or upset. About Renju. The police asked me a bunch of questions, but I don't know where he is. What are you doing here? What are you gonna do? Scold me or something? No. Just Why a question? do you care what I do? Because you're like my kid, sort of. Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. In fact, I'm feeling good. Um, excuse me. The mermaid took me to the corner of the store. Mizuki was crying earlier. Aww. Crying? Yes. We were trying to cheer her up. What happened to her mom was... And we thought she was having a hard time. She must have come here looking for company. That's probably why she stayed with Iris last night. She didn't want to be alone. Shoko's body is still under the jurisdiction of the police. There has not been a ceremony, nor has the body been cremated. The culprit has not been caught, and we cannot locate Renju. And on top of that, her roommate has abandoned her. I did not abandon her. In any case, there are many ways you could calm Mizuki down. Mizuki is just trying to act strong. Please, try to understand. Poor girl. She's sitting there. Okay. Uh, why, why? Why is the x-ray button always available? Those are some nice hit bones. <laughs> sure. Was Renju here? I've heard that Renju was sighted here. When do you mean? When? I got the info a few minutes ago, but I don't know when he was seen. Oh. Ringing any bells? Well, he hasn't come by today, but yesterday. Yesterday? But I was here yesterday. It was after that. After you and Ota left. Why didn't you tell me sooner? You didn't ask. And I don't have any way to contact you. Damn it. We just missed him. That is unfortunate. What was he doing? He was looking for Iris. He was asking everyone where she was. 
Looking for me? Ha. Huh. Probably because he'd set this thing up with 89. He knows 89 is going to go to Hitomi. So he cares about Iris. So he wanted to make sure she's not home when 89 gets there, maybe? Or maybe the other way around. Maybe this guy... Because, I mean... Hitomi was pretty convinced that 89 was, like, reformed, right? She said she that he betrayed the other criminals and was, like, a decent guy now. So, maybe he wanted Iris to be there? I don't know. Yeah. Did he give a reason? No, not in particular. Iris, can you think of why he would be looking for you? No, not at all. Azuki? I don't know either. All right. Anything else? Anything else? Well, he did seem really sick. He was pale and sweating a lot. It must have been because of the accident. I'm guessing it isn't. Perhaps. Uh, what, <laughs> what do you like in men? What? Well, a triple ward sea devil or an anacanthus barbatus. That's an awful. About your relationship with Mizuki. Mizuki comes here a lot. She's really friendly with everyone. I like it here. Everyone treats me nice. Is it because you're the daughter of the owner? No, it's not like that. We're BFFs. She wields extraordinary power with that trident. The Okiura family is really something else. Man, it kind of sucks to even put the idea in Mizuki's head that it might be that people are treating her nicer because of who her dad is. Like, just don't even put that idea in her head. It's probably not that, but by putting that idea in her head, even though it's probably wrong, like, she's gonna fucking stew over it. Like, what if they don't actually like me? What if it's because my dad owns the place and they have to be nice? Like, just don't even, don't even put that in her head, you know? Alright, so... I think we're going to leave off there because Sunrise Formy is going to take us to the next scene and that seems like a pretty good place to end off. So, thank you very much for watching. Interesting stuff found out today. Next part, we will continue looking for Renju, I guess, and uh, see if we can figure out what is going on with him and what's happened to 89. Probably gone to Hitomi, so maybe we'll go back there. We shall see. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more I, the Somnium Files. Thanks again. See you then.